Uh, hello and welcome to this uh, episode of Fleeto Smart CRM series. And today I'm talking with Georgina Cosgrave uh, about ABM and what it means for the whole Smart CRM concept. So uh, actually, Georgina, we started using ABM with Fluido this year, and for us it's been a great, a very interesting concept, and also it was kind of a mind opener that you can flip the funnel, that you target your contacts on a one-to-one -one basis, and you kind of, you see how you can digitally reach every single decision maker and kind of make them affect how they had to make that decision. So is, is that what ABM is kind of all about? Or what, what do you think is the main kind of, what is the main impact that it brings to the organization? Yeah, I think it's it's really about targeting. I think, and I, I always use the kind of the um, the fishing analogy. I don't know if you've heard this before, but it's essentially like you know, kind of two different types of fishermen. There are people who can go and just cast a wide net, and that's very much the kind of traditional type of marketing, that lead generation, demand generation style of marketing. Is cast a wide net, get your kind of your message out there, and see what you catch and see what you bring in. But if you kind of flip that and think about a different way of fishing with maybe like a harpoon or a spear, mm -hmm. it's you going, okay, this is the fish I want to catch and I'm going to chase it down. I'm going to fire at it and I'm going to make sure that I take that particular fish home. That's really the way of thinking about it. And like I said, I think it's a really great way of thinking about it. It's kind of flipping the funnel. It's just a completely different way of targeting your customers. And it's all about increasing your footprint and increasing how you're engaging with customers you already have on board. And I just think it's, a, it's just a really, really great strategy. The key is it doesn't work for everybody, but I think we'll talk a little bit more about that as well. But it's it's very much a buzzword at the moment, and it's it, it's very much a strategy. Okay, so I mean, products will support it, but it's so important to kind of sit down and think about that strategy up front as well. So, how would you recommend uh, for a company that wants to start with ABM? How would you recommend to start? What's kind of the first step to figure out? Yeah, I mean, and it's it's generally a lot of companies are, are surprised they're they're doing account based marketing and they don't even realize. And it's really it's it's all about kind of I suppose identifying those accounts first of all that you want to go after, and that really comes down to sales and marketing alignment. And we talk about this all the time from all of our marketing automation strategies is sales and marketing have to be bound together traditionally two very siloed, very disparate teams, but we hope that the technology can help bring them together. So if you've got a place where you can view all of your sales and all of your marketing data together, you can report on that, you can see the white space that you have in your accounts and you can identify all of that opportunity. That's gonna give you those insights, you're gonna know who to target, and then you gotta to work together for the marketing team to decide how you're going to target. But yeah, identification and, and getting those insights is the most important. Okay, so um, what, for what types of organization? Because you mentioned that it's not for everyone, but what kind of companies would, should, should, should use ABM? Yeah, and it's not specific to any, any vertical necessarily or any industry. It's more to do with how they acquire customers. And I mean, tra traditionally, as I said, people focus so much on demand generation and lead generation. And they, th and they think of, of marketing automation tools as just being about casting that wide net. But it's all about really just facilitating how you're going to market with your customers. Quite often we have companies that have 20, 30, 50, maybe 100 key customers that they just want to increase their footprint into. And that's very much account-based marketing. We at Salesforce do that, you know? I mean, obviously we want to seed and grow into our customers. We get them on board with Sales Cloud, maybe Service Cloud, and then try to increase that footprint and bring them on board with different products. And it's really just all about sort of saying, like, am I the type of business where maybe I only have one product or one service, so I just need to constantly generate new leads? Or am I the type of business where there's really good cross-sell and up sell opportunity and if I have that then that's key for an ABM strategy. So um, we talked already about you know how it's important to have sales and marketing and on the same page working together so mm -hmm. what are kind of what are the prerequisites for this relationship to work well what do you see as yeah, I mean, like I said, there are two teams that don't necessarily always want to talk to each other. You know, marketing is always like, oh, those sales guys don't follow up on the great leads that I pass over. Sales are like, marketing don't even generate good leads. And again, I think it's really all about if the technology can work together between those two teams, then, then it will provide insights on both sides and it will help both those teams work towards a better strategy and work towards providing a better service for those customers. So I think kind of, 
The challenges tend to be around, you know, they just, they, they generally don't necessarily want to talk to each other. And I think to make them more impactful, they just need to share knowledge. And if they're not going to share it face to face, then making it transparent and visible in a system where they can get a bit of intelligence from both sides of the business, I think that is the key. Yeah, and I think it, when, when they actually see the results that are coming into the system, in the system that used to work, it really yeah. brings all the difference. Oh, that's really nice. What kind of uh, technology the Salesforce offers to, to kind of enable the ABM uh, strategy? Yeah, so I mean, we have a few kind of key pieces of technology. Obviously, Sales Cloud, the CRM itself. I mean, that is your single view of the customer. That is where you're going to see everything that you've done in terms of previous opportunities, any interaction, any activity that you've had with that customer. And it's also going to allow you to, to run some reporting on that white space and help you to identify those customers. And once you've identified those customers, then you use an execution tool, like a marketing automation tool, such as part of where you can start to then bring out that kind of that automated strategy for reaching out to those customers, for targeting, and for sending that really relevant and personalized communication, making sure that the message is going to be a little bit different for all of those different customers that you're going to be reaching out to, but doing it at scale via an automated tool. So they'd be the two key ones. And then you can kind of augment that a little bit with analytics so that we can measure, so that we can optimize, and then also advertising studio. So it's a really, really, it's a big mover now at the moment in that kind of more B2B, that considered purchase kind of strategy where people are thinking about ABM is advertising. Traditionally more of a B2C type of way of communicating, very much when we think about things like LinkedIn, LinkedIn advertising, we need to be able to le leverage that a little bit from our ABM strategy as well. So sales cloud, part of advertising studio, and of course, underpinned by analytics. And now uh, you mentioned personalization. What is kind of, what do you see as the best strategy to do that? And also how to scale the per personalization? Because I mean, if you have quite many accounts, then it becomes quite difficult to make personalized message for everyone. Yeah, and I mean, I think sometimes you, you can't, you can't 100% personalize everything, okay? Because, I mean, you're, you're generally going to be speaking to maybe a few different people at the same company, but the key things are to focus on around, you know, their, their industry. Think about all of the data points that you have captured about them and leveraging tools like dynamic content, leveraging really granular and targeted segmentation, using automated execution tools like Engagement Studio within Pardot allow you to deliver that message on scale and allow you to personalize it on scale as well. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for this really interesting chat and uh, hopefully that was also useful for our viewers. So uh, stay tuned for the next episodes of our Smart CRM series. Goodbye. <laughs>